Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome to the finale of season 3 of Data Live. What a season it has been. Last time on, we finally succeeded in putting an end to Org. We finally succeeded in sealing Origami. After both her light and dark self combined and talked to each other, Shido managed to break through Origami's shell and lay the lip smack down on her and everything's back to normal, supposedly. So where do we go from here? How is there a final episode to this season? Why didn't it just conclude with the arc? I don't know, because fun times await, that's why. This is gonna be a fun one to round out the season with, so let's just get right into the episode. No way, impossible! <laughs> right, yeah, that's... <laughs> Bro's just casually a god. Interesting. Special designation disaster beings that exist in a critical space. Uh -huh. Approach one, annihilate them by military force. Approach two, date, date them, them and, and make, make them, them fall in love. What a final sentence. I normally kind of skim through the opening, but tradition for myself, I let it rock for the last episode. One more time. I'm not gonna miss this opening, honestly, but visual-wise, it's really cool, just because it's like, yeah, look how far we've come. Special- uh, Such a cool shot. Hajime Masha! One last time. Episode 12, Make Shido Eats Kaswoon. Feels like I'm on fire. Got a fever. It's as if the connection between you and Shin has drastically narrowed. Mm. Therefore, it's hindering the circulation of your spirit powers. It's stalling out in his body, giving him incredible powers. Welcome aboard, by the way. <laughs> you spent your entire life uh, hunting us. Granted, that's something we have to remember now. The original timeline is gone. That's something I just kind of forget about going forward. It's like, technically, everything Origami did to everyone else up to this point didn't happen. I mean, she still remembers it, though, but we're in the altered world now. And it's possible he'll go on a rampage with all eight of our spirit powers. <laughs> we gotta and stop Shido. Kiss him. That's it. Like with lips? It'll open the path for spirit power to flow. You're the one who's kissed him the most. <laughs> Out of everyone. Your deadline is 12 tonight. Mm -hmm. So you saying that by midnight, you'll have to kiss Shido? I can think of worse things than having to kiss Shido to save his life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good thing it's just that. Shido seems to escape from the infirmary. I mean, it's a cool idea. Our main boy and now a little bit of a an antagonist. Oh, right. A woman? Right. A woman. Gotta make her fall for me. <laughs> that is your one purpose. Why are you just out and about? Man, I've missed you so much, Ellen. I like how he kind of sounds sickly. Wonder, such spirit power. Hmm. Luckily, we can track where he is. Can he do that to me? Don't be hostile, my dear. Okay? I just want us to understand one another. Sure. Voice. Who cares if we're from different sides? We can still love one another, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so smooth. Look, don't be difficult, okay? See ya. Ciao. <laughs> and just like that, she's not gonna be threatening for the next season. <laughs> Everyone's power is surging inside me, and I feel like I could sing. <laughs> I love you. I want you. I need you. The sky is blue. Man, this is Miku's power. You could at least sing to the beat of the song, damn it. Listen up, lover boy. We're here to save your dumb ass. <laughs> Hajime my show. Before I had to get each one of you to fall for me in order to seal your powers, right? But this time you have to make me fall for you. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Use any method you want, but make sure my heart skips a beat. Just enough that I can't wait to give you a big kiss. Make his heart skip a beat. Got it. And make it good. Punch him in the heart. The Tabasquare is gonna go all out to make you fall for us. I'm honored. Reverse date alive. Let's get going real soon. And begin our date. Not <laughs> I forget this is like a fan service episode, but hey, it is what it is. Let's see what you've got, ladies. I miss the suave Shido. Oh good, you're here. Yeah. Yeah. The third beach episode. No, the water park episode. The actual beach episode. The movie. This is the fourth beach episode. Caution. It sounds like you're falling for him now. <laughs> she, she can't help it. The one and only heart throbbing fall in love, dude. Uh, what? Hey, trying to make Shido's heart skip a beat. 
feet in their own erotic way. Um, you're not J. Michael Tatum. Why is Kanazuki suddenly voiced by Ian Sinclair? <laughs> I was like, why are you Whis now? And once you've inspired him to exceed a certain level, you'll hear fanfare like this. I mean, it worked. God, the amount of voices this guy's had, because he has like two different Japanese voices, right? Because in the more recent seasons, he's voiced by Kono Dioda. A lot of voice changes in, the, in this season. Do you know the deadline is 12 o'clock tonight? Yeah, we're not in a hurry or anything. Why we didn't choose a nudist one like I originally suggested. <laughs> of course you suggested that. We would have already heard that fanfare by now. Look, that might be true, but there are lines I'm not willing to cross, and this is one of them. Miku would love it. Guess I'll strip bit by bit then. <laughs> <laughs> Origami and the vice commander. They make a pretty good team. Yeah, it seems like they're always on the same wavelength. Curves moving her. A true warrior is always the first to get to a battle. Now let's get this ball rolling. Yeah, you two are the first. Won't be the last time that you two are the first for something. Be gentle with me, okay? Be gentle. You're about to fall for us so hard, dude. There's no doubt. A knockout in a single round. So hard, you say. And touch. Oh, that's right. They get prompts now. Oh, that's so funny. A coup d'etat? Commander, in that case, you can tie me up tighter. <laughs> when our feminine charms make your heart go up, butter? Agreement. It's no point in trying to lie to yourself, you know. Feel. Ah, uh, season two. He may look composed, but his excitement level is climbing. Try choice two this time. Keep going. One of these ice creams is all for you. One will be plenty for us. We're used to sharing things. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they really just saved the best art for last. But weren't you supposed to be doing that with Shin? And not with each other? Um. Got... It's so cold. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> I remember that last thing longer. <laughs> You're plenty cute, Natsumi. Hmm. Does she transform? Fuck. <laughs> now I've got him in the bag for sure. Is this cheating? <laughs> Sorry, you've had to wait. I can't blame you for being interested in a big girl's body. Pam <laughs> um. Um. Where did that come? Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ. I thought you might be bored of the beat. From now on, it's adult time. Elegant, grown-up time. But a woman can change the very moment you look away. Know what I mean? Dear big brother. Mmm. Fuck. <laughs> Why don't y'all just gang up on him? I was gonna say a different word. Tonight I'm gonna sing a song just for you. Miku! Success! What? I didn't have a chance to perform my song. Um... She could have roofie him. I don't know anymore. Don't know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> she could have roofie herself. That's definitely alcohol free. I would hope so. Oh, Itsuka. <laughs> How is it you managed to be so handsome? And Itsuka? Ah. Are you that origami? I mean, does it really make a difference to you? My heart seems to get all full and tight. <clears throat> Itsuka, I... I love you so much that I hardly even know what to do. Hardly even know ya. Yeah. Well, that's seven of us clear. It's just Toka now. Uh, just Toka. I felt my chest clenching up right here. Yeah, her I jealousy. It's probably the most important emotion you'll rely on to save Shido. I don't understand. It's scary counting on you, okay? Uh, right. When he said that drink was non-alcoholic. Sorry to make you wait. <laughs> Ta-da! I brought every tasty food I could find with me. They all use seductive techniques, and then she's just being herself. This is why she's the best. Shido, what? What's going on? Running out of time. <laughs> Flashing thunder way. Oh, right. Kamehameha. That just happened in season five. This is the first time he does it. He's on a <laughs> Time to fight. Fight Shido. Looks like it's up to me. The Tadis 
Riker made Don sleep specifically because of this risk. So we could eliminate Shido if we needed to. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot in fucking season two when she met Ellie. It's just like, things go bad. We all kill Shido myself. I didn't think this episode would deal with that. What are you doing? You must never use this coterie. We'll find another way together. If we all put our powers together, I'm sure that we can save Shido. Spirit Bomb Toka again. <laughs> Could we have not used that satellite thing against Origin? <laughs> it might be a thing that's only for Shido. What can we do? He's about to become the third impact. Oh shit. I can be so whimsical sometimes, can't I? No. Oh, didn't invite me to the party. Shido, we're here to help you. Everybody gets a kiss. And everyone else. <laughs> I keep forgetting her and Natsumi have like this interesting relationship. I mean, she's gay for everybody, but like, especially Natsumi. Oh, shit. Hmm, surprised she didn't try to save her that more. Oh, I actually scratched her. I don't know why my voice is cracking. I'm practically pubescent. Oh, fucking hell. Sandalphon v Sandalphon. Oh. It's important for me to do this on my own. Oh, Shido, is it possible that you've had to fight against this kind of pain and fear the entire time? Yeah, would you mind unleashing it against Origin next week? I love this. It's like the start of season two and Toka was going all crazy. How were you able to keep reaching out through so much chaos to save us all? Because he's him. I think this must be the feeling everyone calls love. But it's different from how I feel for the others. I'm here. Yeah. And then he just fucking explodes. Nah. Are you sure you don't want me to do that? No, thanks. <laughs> I'm the only one who didn't get you to fall for me. And so... Toka. I don't need to fall for you. I've already fallen since day one. Oh. Again? Wow. What a climax in more ways than one. Well, that was episode 12, the finale of season three. Hot damn, man. That episode actually was better than I remember. I mean, it had its fan service moments, but you know, that was a cool way to end it. I don't know how much of it was in the original uh, light novel at all. I imagine some of it, because I've seen like the light novel version of that scene of him like in the white suit, like all raged out. It's a perfect way to, to send it off. Always has those episodes where it's like, look at us, look at how far we've come. Is it weird to say end of an era? Because because from this point forward, we're in a completely different art style. Or well, I guess I'll talk about this first. Originally, when I started this rewatch, I said in the videos that it was just going to be seasons one to three. I mainly said that because I've already done a reaction to season four. I watched it as it came out week to week over two years ago. I said that because I like having the playlist just be having seasons one, two, three, four, five. I said that, but the more I've stewed and thought about it, I actually really do want to rewatch season four because I haven't rewatched any of it really since I did the series. And on top of that, I haven't watched any of it in the English dub. So I think it would be fitting to go back through season four because it will be a first time reaction in the sense that I'm watching it in the dub for the first time. I mean, this is a rewatch for a reason. It's been long enough. It's just going to be funny that having the two season fours, you can tell the difference. One's my first time reaction. This time's my rewatch with the dub. So does that mean when I get to the end of season four, I should start going through season five in the dub? I'm not going to do that. Hot damn it. Anyway, that was season three of Data Life. JC staff will not be missed. This season was still very fun. Again, the Natsumi arc, not really my favorite. Overall, if I had to pick a least favorite arc, would probably be that one, but it's balanced out with my favorite arc, which is Origami's. I'd say this was the season that had the least going on in terms of every other character. Like, they pretty much were there. It mainly was just, obviously, like, Shido and then Natsumi in the first half, and then Origami, and then even Kurami in the second half. Even still, super fun. But it really is the end of an era, because now we get into the geek toy 
Boys era, which is interesting because I've always kind of looked at season four and five as almost their separate thing. Well, just mainly because I've watched them in the Japanese only, as opposed to seasons one to three, which I've watched in English. So now that I'm going to be going through season four in the English, it's going to be interesting. That was the end of season three. And despite the gripes I have with like the animation and the art and some of the story, it's phenomenal, man. But now we go into the new revamped era, rebooted, not rebooted, but you know, the next stage of Data Live. Season four, Nia is on the horizon. I'm curious to hear her voice in English. I've heard it before, but I don't remember it. And I've never heard Mukuro's dub voice, so I can't wait to get to those. Yeah. That'll be next. Either way, this was my reaction to season three of Data Live. Join me next time as we begin season four again, as well as everything else that'll be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.